Hello and welcome back to Love Advice TV. My name is Coach Adrian and as always, I'm super excited to be able to do these videos for you. We have so many new exciting things to offer to you in 2018 and I cannot wait to reveal all of those things to you. More and more people that are coming out of long-term relationships or are experiencing tough time in their marriage seem to be reaching out to us lately. And these are always very complicated situations because usually resentment has been built up over a long period of time. And it's not as easy as just changing one, of one or two things and proving to that person that you love that it is worth keep fighting for this relationship or for your marriage. And so the topic of today's video, what I want to talk to you about today, is when your husband seems dead set on going through with a divorce. What should you do? How should you approach it? The first thing that I'm going to tell you is that you cannot panic and try to kind of take a shortcut and to try to overnight try to win him back. To beg or to plead is not the solution and you need to accept the fact that it's going to take some time. The divorce is not an end in and of itself. And you cannot try to change their mind through words alone. It is your behavior that is ultimately going to be able to um, provide him with a sense of security and desire to try to make it work with you. And most of the women that reach out to me that are facing the prospect of a divorce seem to be extremely, extremely emotional. Sometimes there's children involved or pets. You've built a life together and you feel like your entire world is crumbling. It is an identity crisis of sorts. You need to take a step back and to truly understand what went wrong. Analyze your behavior. Figure out where the resentment comes from. And once you've been able to do that, you can start to put a game plan in place to prove to this man that you love that you are that person that they first fell for, not the one that they seem convinced uh, that you don't have a, a future together of sorts. So the first important thing is to make sure that you take a step back and you don't try to approach this as a short-term fix. Don't try to put a bandage on it. It's okay if you go your separate ways for a while in order for yourself to evolve and to offer something new. The second thing that I'm going to really, really try to stress in this video is the fact that you need to find yourself again. You need to be able to enjoy life on your own and have something to offer before hoping to inspire this person that you love again. And quite often, the issue is that you feel that the relationship is your identity, is your well-being or your fortress. And because this is unraveling, you don't know where to turn and you're completely lost. Your, the key is to look within and to f seek that, um, I want to say, fresh start on your own first and foremost, not together. And once you've been able to find that happiness again and that sense of well-being, good things will start to happen to you. So first focus on yourself and not on a communication strategy or even on a winning him back type of strategy. And it's once you feel secure and confident again that you can expect him to come back into your life. Okay? So think in terms of months. Not in terms of weeks, not in terms of days. And if that scares you, I'm sorry, it's just the honest truth. If you're facing the prospect of a divorce, it usually means that it's going to take some time to turn things around. However, by working together in coaching sessions, if I understand the intricacies of what you are going through and your situation, it is possible that we can speed things up, okay? Um, because sometimes, you know, it's in the details that uh, a lot of these complex situations can be resolved. So don't hesitate to reach out to me or to my colleagues. It will be our pleasure to help. And as always, keep fighting the good fight. We're here for you. 
I wish you all the very best. Keep checking out our YouTube channel, our website, our blog, and good things are to come. See you soon.